guys to do is it says determine the cosine of 45 degrees. Now, it says use special right triangles. So special right triangles, if you guys remember, we had a 45, 45, 90 triangle. A 45, 45, 90 triangle looked like this. 45, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees, right? Now, if you guys remember, in your previous notes, when we had a special right triangle like that, it looked like this. x, x, then x times the square root of 2, right? The legs were exactly the same length. It didn't matter what the length was. The legs were the same length, and the hypotenuse was that length multiplied by the square root of 2. That's how you guys did your first homework, page 101. That's how we did the first homework. We just used this triangle. Now they're asking us, what is the cosine of 45 degrees? Well, there's two 45 degrees, so it doesn't matter which one we pick. I'll just pick this one. So it says, find the cosine of 45 degrees. Well, remember, the cosine of any angle, ladies and gentlemen, is opposite over adjacent. Well, that is not it. It's adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So from the 45 degree angle that I circled, I need to figure out what is my adjacent side and what is my hypotenuse. The adjacent side, remember, is always between your angle and the 90 degree angle. And your hypotenuse is always directly across from your 90 degree angle. Okay, So therefore, cosine of 45 degrees equals x over x square root of 2. All right, now we're going to simplify that. That equals, I can delete those, divide those out, so it's 1 over the square root of 2. And if you guys remember from Algebra 1, you also learned how to rationalize your denominator. So I multiply by the square root of 2 on the top and the bottom, and I get the square root of 2 over 2. Now, that's one way to be able to find the answer. The way that method that I'm going to probably assume that you guys are going to prefer is to type it in your calculator. But the but your book did want you to do both methods. So we have to make sure that we can apply them or apply both of them. Unless somebody stole my calculator. Yeah, oh, Shane stole it and didn't ask. Interesting. He always does that. So um, the next way I could do this is just type in the cosine of 45 degrees which is 0 0.707. Wait, what did you do with the decimal? Yes. It asked you, the problem asked you to find the fraction as well as the decimal value. So I can find the fraction by using special right triangles, and I can find the decimal just by plugging it into my calculator. Now, these are exactly the same. To show it to you, I'll type in my calculator the square root of 2 <clears throat> divided by 2. And what I get is 0 0.07, or 0 0.707, and there's a couple other decimals or values after that. OK? So those are the exact same, but I want you guys to be able to do them both ways, either by the triangle or by plugging into your calculator. And it doesn't really matter um, if you are um, 